You take engineers that are used to one way of working, and then you have scientists that have a different academic kind of approach of things, and then you combine them together. And that's, I think, where the strength is of here. When we build up a group of people to work on a project, we have a few research scientists, a few research engineers who have a lot of shared expertise, and they can really quickly make progress. You can just feel the passion by just walking into the office and people are having chats about research and they're bouncing ideas off of each other. <laughs> Even a fair amount of collaboration across sites. So I'm in the New York office and I work a lot with people in Paris, and Menlo Park, and even Seattle. We try to cover the whole spectrum of AIs. Robotics, computer vision, natural language processing, speech, learning theory. And a lot of the richness, a lot of the key advances right now are coming from merging different fields. This is where we get the most disruption, because when someone with a background is working on another field, they usually come with a different perspective. They give you a, a leap forward that you are not expecting. Within the AI org at Facebook, there's FAIR, which is uh, completely unrestricted. You know, you can have external impact. And then there's applied research. Uh, and in applied research, you're also doing really fundamental long-term research, but you want to have product impact. Within applied research, Latte is a team of researchers that focus on language technologies. They're also contributing to the research. They're also helping drive the long-term vision. And by collaborating with them, you know, when we build things, uh, they'll do the extra work to put in the infrastructure so that you know, we can literally have a new model idea and it'll be in production the next month. There's another reason for publishing the work we do, and it is to be able to collaborate with universities and other research groups. I've already, in my first year here, collaborated with people in academia and have co-authored papers with people in academia. And so it's really valuable to me to be able to keep those collaborations open, and FAIR has given me only support for that. We don't have a monopoly on good ideas. By collaborating, and also by providing open source tools that everybody can use, we're helping the entire world research community it accelerates progress.